and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the next episode of Drake Plays. Today is Christmas Day and let's go on an adventure down the rail. On a rail. That is actually tough to make. Freeman, I've been waiting for you. One of your scientist pals said to give you a message. You're supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery rocket. I don't know where it is exactly, and the old guy was so worried about getting out of here alive, he didn't tell me. Main thing is, the military aborted the launch, so when you do find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Roger that. So, what did you, so all the people that watch this, what did you get for Christmas? I'm, no, I mostly got uh, cash and money, and a few little odds and ends. Booze, rum, booze, rum, vodka, maybe a bit of whiskey, chocolates as well, as well as my usual yearly box of shortbread is one of the many things I tend to get. Clotted cream shortbread as well. The ones you sort of get from uh, places like Kelly or uh, Cornwall. That sort of thing. Chocolates, um, Lint Lindor. Chocolates are yeah, I must admit, if there's any sort of chocolate I like, it's those sort of chocolates. No. So yeah, some may be wondering why am I taking the long route. Well, for those that have not seen uh, some of the secrets in Half-Life, Sometimes it's just worth it going along so you can find. I know this is going to be a long episode, so I'm just going to record as much as I possibly can. that leech. See ya. Ah. That presents a problem. I can't get out. Nine. Ugh, God, I think I think there's a ladder somewhere around here. Damn it. Looks like I may have to. Can I get up here? Yes. So this is going to be some. So I'm um, on foot for this small portion due to my ow, due to my fuck up. So yeah, you can actually run around here, but uh, just don't tread on that little thing. Ow! 
No! Stupid game! Okay. Don't think I don't see that ball squid. Whew. So one of the topics I wanted to actually discuss with some people topic of Christmas dinners. And the disastrous effects, or the after effects thereof. Doesn't matter what game it is, the grenade physics will always fuck you up. Satchel charges. One of the more useful high explosives that you're probably ever going to use. Why some may people ask? Well, if you ever run out of grenades, you can just use them as improvised grenades. Laser trip mines, not so much, because you, you generally need a, uh, uh, you generally need to know in advance what you're going to face things, so they're, they're more useful if you plan to do a repeat play, but not so much if you want a, uh, if you're just running on first time. I mean, uh, th th that's mainly the reason why you see me, right now, Pretty much uh, going through it without too much difficulty, apart from that little swamp bit there. That was annoying and all else. Okay, so I know there's a ladder, there's a ladder there. So I'm actually going to drink. Down below, there's a revolver. Ah, I'm being eaten alive by leeches. Which is strange, I mean, you, it, that's one of the things that's always bugged me in Half-Life. You see these revolvers left and right. But you don't actually see any other person use it. I mean, by exception of some more recent Black Mesa, for example, which is a source modification, and yes, I will be playing it at some point. I won't be playing it just yet because I've got a sh slew of other games I want to get done. Um, Have a good night. 